bright and early, ready to rip up to South Carolina for the classic. Heading up there this morning. As of right now, 5.30 a.m. There's guys, you know, they're all getting ready. First day of the Bassmaster Classics. We're gonna pack the truck up with all the stuff up here and dip up that way. We're gonna get up there probably early for the Bassmaster Classic Expo, all the preview for the Expo. All right, Bassmaster Classic day one. A little chilly out here for a t-shirt, I must say. Definitely have to pull out the old hoodie. Uh, bring down a cooler, one last rod, backpack full of goods. We got a little bit of a drive until the preview of the expo. We're going to take you guys along for that. Getting pretty packed to the brim here. She's coming along with. Casey's actually the one that got us the hotel reservation, I must say. Isn't that right? You're welcome. Just packed all this up. Ready to roll in her little Rogue here. Call us the old Nissan. The old Nissan GTR. Better watch out. We got LED lights on the end. It's fancy stuff. This will all work. Uh, you'll basically see day one vlogs on day two, day two on day three, day three on Monday, regardless, you know, so on and so forth. So we're excited to get down there, talk to everybody, see the preview of the expo, see the weigh-in, see the launch and everything. So pretty stoked. Well, the goal is to leave at what, 5.30? It is exactly 6 a.m., so I'd say we're on time. Only a 30 minute miss, huh? <laughs> I think she's more or less pissed off she's up before the sun. We'll see you guys in South Carolina. First stop, we just dipped off the exit here. We stop at the old Chicka Filet, get some breakfast and whatnot. Piss break for the old lady there. Yeah. The old GTR. I bet that kid right there came in here with the exhaust on this bad boy. Easy drive so far, though. We're about halfway there. Halfway, almost there. We're in Orangeburg, South Carolina. If any of you guys are from this area. And still heading up a little bit north, got about two more hours of a drive, and we'll be right there in Greenville. It's where the expo is held at, and the TD Convention Center is there in Greenville. So we're gonna stop there, and first we're gonna grab some breakfast here, and then right back on the highway. You know what I want? Just straight breakfast of champions right here. The old GTR right here. Oh man, it's chilly. I'm telling you, this place is chilly. No. No. Ooh. <laughs> it was the old secrets to success right there. Just back on the highway, dipping up, on our way up. So for a while there, I forgot we were in South Carolina and I was like, wow, there's a lot of people on 95 today with South Carolina plates. That's just uh, corner logic right there. Oh my God, we finally made it here. I'm just kidding, that was an easy drive. That's That drive there is better than driving south to like the Orlando or Jacksonville area. That's horrendous. This drive was actually relatively easy. We're gonna walk in, it's quite a few trucks and of people that I recognize just right off the bat. So we should be able to see a couple dudes at least staying in line. I don't really know how this is working. We have like a preview entry or something, I don't really know. So we're gonna, You'll be got you guys will be going along with us figuring out how this whole thing works.
the man, the myth, the legend, Tyler Anderson. He's, he's, actually he, known, he's the legend. No, no, no. I've been no. watching him for much longer than he watched me for. That's <laughs> what they say. Exactly. Everybody I meet says that. It's good to finally meet you in good person. Good to meet you as well. You do some good stuff. Exactly. Crazy underwater content, I'm telling you. I got some coming out soon. Like when I got guys on army bases asking who Tyler Anderson is, you know he's doing something right. <laughs> Sweet. So, it's awesome stuff, man. Awesome. Thanks again. We'll see yes. you around. See you, bud. Yeah, bud. This is NBA level line. This is, the line. this is, I'm telling you. You gotta guess how many plastics are in this. Yeah, whatever's there. in the box that you land on. Anyway, oh, beer fog. I mean, I can go anywhere. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. No, you're good. You smacked me. I got one. <laughs> He missed it. She won it. <laughs> you got it? What? <laughs> Fair announced. I got distracted. <laughs> A lot more expensive than I anticipated, huh? You bought it. I blew through some cash now, I ain't gonna lie. But we got some bags of goodies to go over when we get back. Especially this old guy right here. We definitely got a lot of like last minute stuff on the way out, which is pretty cool. Day one review though, here at the TD Convention Center, definitely wasn't as busy as I think I anticipated. Again, it is only day one. I'm sure, you know, as the press and media release everything there's gonna be a tons of more attention that goes on talked to a ton of people didn't want to film too much on day one because i didn't want to burn out everything on the first vlog we still got tomorrow and sunday well saturday and sunday to work with i mean the parking lot definitely was is full to the extent what's cool about the expo is everything's for sale so you can like actually buy stuff which obviously you want to wait till like sunday but very cool day day one i anticipated literally like touching elbows with people all day it definitely wasn't that packed it kind of seemed like it actually got i don't know what do you think do you think i think a lot less people were walking around than from the get-go from like 12 o'clock to like one o'clock yeah, it was think, pretty packed yeah i think after lunch everyone just kind of but i mean the weigh-in's at three and it's it it's 245 now so we're gonna try to get one of those last minute upper decker seats with the doves it's supposed to be like a concert after and she wants to see jason aldean so but we're definitely gonna go over all the products of uh, day one here. Hopefully I don't walk out with a rod every single day. Hopefully this guy fits. It sure does. Whole bag of goods. I was able to renew my Bassmaster membership after being stale since like 2014. So if you're looking to renew your stuff and you're here at the expo, now is most definitely the time to go ahead and do that. They're giving away a tons of cool stuff with it. Oh, this is the first time I've taken a seat in hours. Starving. I'm just glad we don't have to drive back down four hours. I do not want to be in a car. Being there, I mean, we've been there since, what, 10.30. They let us in really early. We got to the preview here at like 10.25. And the time we walked up there was 10.30 and they just, they were letting us on in, which was cool. We can score a card member at Dick's and everything. So I think we saw everything like three separate times. Got to talk to a ton of different people. Got to meet a ton of you guys. And uh, got to meet a lot of people that I wanted to talk to. Snack time, huh? Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go drive around. We need to put some ice in the cooler, get some stuff on all that for our food back at the hotel. We need to check into the hotel and we still need to go see the way in. So let's get going. Put those last. Any good trip needs some rolls, old bike. And our eggs on top. I think one bag would have worked. I go over buying stuff. 
I guess it's better to have stuff too cold than have it all mushy and nasty. It's time we get to the room. So we just straight weaseled like a random spot to slam the old car at. So that's where we're gonna we're gonna park. You over there Snapchatting me too. And hopefully we avoid the. T they, this place wants you to pay the twenty dollars on the parking garage. So if you, if you're looking to come up here and you're watching this, it's Saturday. So if you're looking to come up for the final weigh-in, there's a parking garage which is probably a lot more secure than what we chose for six bucks. Or you can go in the big parking garage, which is what twenty dollars for yeah. both. There's a ton of little yards charging twenty bucks. So save yourself the fourteen bucks and park in the secured parking garage for the final weigh-in on Sunday if that's what you're looking to come up for. But regardless, we're gonna walk down. I'm telling you, we'll get back to the camera. We'll show you with all these people that are standing out front. It's pretty nuts. Oh, oh why do you have that little bag? <laughs> you can't bring anything in, so you ought to just not bring a big bag in because we just walked a mile and I have to walk all the way back. So we made it back, thanks to Wonder Woman. I feel like I've walked an entire army rock again. Complete and utter disgrace of a walk. A 30 minute walk, there and back. Alright, so we finally made it in this dang stadium. It's pretty lit. It's actually... It's lit, dude! Pretty big turnout, and yeah, it's loud. I'm not gonna do much talking. We do a lot of recording of the pros coming through. All right, time to get your mind and your eyes in gear. It's time. Let's do it. First guy coming through is from Pebble, Mississippi. Give it up for Cliff. Tomorrow, boy, get on tomorrow. All right, 
starting our endeavor, our mile and a half hike back. Driving back to, or driving back, wish I was driving right now, walking back to the car, which I'll be driving to the hotel. So that'll be a little update. That Wayne was pretty gnarly and uh, Jason Aldean playing for free. That was always a cool surprise. Back here in the old room, we've got a fresh uh, highway view out there. This room's pretty, pretty legit. This will be home for the next two nights. Let me chill and explore this Bassmaster Classic. So like I said in the beginning of the video, every day that I film, I'm gonna come back here and edit, which is what I'm about to do right now. And it's like 10 o'clock, so I'm about to be exhausted tonight, but I'm gonna make it happen. So today's Friday, I'm filming day one. I'm gonna upload this tomorrow about 9, 10 o'clock for day two. So you're watching this on Saturday. And then I'm filming all day Saturday and uploading that on Sunday morning. And then obviously filming all day Sunday morning and obviously uploading that Monday morning. So make sure you guys dip back and forth into the Basel Year channel here. Appreciate you guys tuning in to see this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Really was trying to get as best coverage as I could today. It's actually kind of harder than I thought. I haven't been to iCast or like a trade show type environment like this since 2012 and I never really filmed stuff like this but you just get caught up with so much of the action and everything that's going on and people so definitely gonna give it some more action to you tomorrow a lot more coverage talked to a lot more people got a lot more interviews scheduled to tune on in and then Monday of course or Sunday of course we'll have the last day so you'll see all that Monday again appreciate you guys tuning in if you haven't hit that subscribe button that, 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 hit that subscribe button we'll see you guys right back here thanks for the tuning in see you guys really see you all